Hi guys, it's Beamerzen with another video. So today I will be fixing a thread on the cylinder head for the valve cover bolts. And sadly one of the bolts stripped out, so now I have to repair it. So the bolt in question is uh, this one right here. So it is uh, kind of accessible, so it's not too bad. At least it's not one of uh, the ones at the back. So uh, what happened is, well, this is my speculation. I started using this uh, really handy electrical ratchet from Milwaukee. And I really have to say this is a really, really useful tool. I use it all the time. But uh, when I started using it, I uh, kind of sometimes forgot to change the direction. And when I was trying to unscrew a bolt, I was actually screwing it in. And uh, once uh, you do that, you probably can very easily damage the thread. And I think that this is what caused the issue. Because uh, usually, or basically always, I use torque wrench to torque all of my bolts. So this shouldn't happen, but uh, since I am a noob with this tool, I think that I've caused this issue. So uh, just a word of warning, when you start to use a tool like this, always just give it a little tap and see the direction before you start unscrewing. Otherwise you might damage the thread or the bolt. So as you can see, I already have this area taped off. This is just a normal painter's tape. And uh, this way I plan to protect the filings or debris to fall into the engine and cause issues. I also have a piece of cloth here. So uh, this is like a backup. Uh, I will be very careful when I drill out the old thread. So not to introduce any uh, aluminum particles into my engine. So here are the tools that I will use. Uh, this is just a helicoil repair kit. This is thread repair kit. I've uh, opted for this option to use helicoil repair. So I can use the same bolt. Now, if you are in a pinch, you can probably just uh, drill out and tap in M8 bolt and use M8 bolt on the cylinder head, but uh, I don't like that. I want everything to be original as possible. So I've decided to go with the helicoil repair kit. So as you can see, I have different sizes here. I've just bought the whole set for future use. And what you get here is, uh, of course, some helicoils. These are new threads or thread inserts. And you also have this tool, this uh, enables you to screw in the new thread insert and a punch. So you can uh, punch out this uh, bar at the middle. So this is what uh, enables you to screw in the new insert. And of course you get the appropriate sized drill bit. So just for uh, additional information, this is six point two millimeters. So uh, then you of course also get a new uh, thread bit. So this will cut in a new thread. This is M8. And uh, I also have my Loctite here. So I will be using this to secure the new thread insert to the cylinder head so it won't uh, screw out. And uh, you can probably use just uh, just make sure it's a uh, high temperature resistant and permanent. Uh, it's usually called like red Loctite. So get uh, something like this. And then since we are uh, doing this repair at an odd angle, I will be using uh, this uh, contraption, <laughs> so, so to say. So this is a very small, uh, I don't know how you call it. I think it's called a chuck in English. So I will be using this small chuck and uh, I will put the drill bit into the chuck. And then I also have a quarter inch adapter. So I will put this like this. And then I plan to use the cause of all these issues. So my uh, electric battery powered ratchet and 
I'm going to try and use a ratchet to drill out the hole. I think that I have just enough space to do that. And to help me with that, I also have WD-40 to help it lubricate a little bit. And uh, I've made this piece of wood with the appropriate sized drill. So this was drilled with this drill bit. And what I plan to do is, this is basically just an alignment. So I will place this onto the cylinder head and then I will drill it through this hole. And that way I plan this hole to be nicely centered as it should be. So that the thread insert goes in in the same line as the original. So uh, yeah, this is the basic tool set. Oh yeah. Let's not forget, so I plan to use my thread bit with this tool. So this is reversible and uh, yeah, I hope that we can somehow manage to get this thread nice and straight. So, okay, now uh, let's start drilling. Okay, so I guess that worked. Now I'm going to check the depth of a normal thread hole. So this is the depth of a normal hole. Let's see. So this is the depth. It's up to this mark here. Now I'm going to check how deep the drill bit went. So this is the depth. So I would say it's about the same depth. So this hole is now drilled out. Now I'm going to use WD-40 to try and clear out all of the debris. Now I'm going to use this uh, tap and tap in the new thread. I'm using this attachment. So as you can see, it has a ratcheting thing going on. So. I hope that this will be small enough so I can cut in the new thread. Now I have to be careful that the new thread goes in straight. Make sure that you go slowly. And use some lubrication. Okay, so now I'm going to check the depth. I've made some markings on my bit, so I know how deep I have to go. I'm going to use WD-40 again to clean out the debris. Just work slowly and every full turn, just give it half a back turn so that material clears.
let's do this once more. And I think we're done with cutting new thread. Now I'm going to clean out the hole with the brake clean. Now I'm going to put some Loctite on the thread insert. You don't have to go too crazy. Just make sure that it's all around. Make sure that the new thread insert sits about one or two millimeters below the line, the surface. And this should be okay. Now I'm going to remove the masking tape. And it looks like nothing ever happened, which is the desired result for this repair. Now I will take the punch and punch out the bar in the center. And we're done. Now we have to make sure that uh, the bolt for the valve cover screws in all the way to this aluminium part. Now I have the bolt back in and I'm just going to try and uh, screw it in by hand and feel any resistance and yeah, it's loose now so I can definitely screw it all the way and uh, yeah this should work now okay i'm going to let it cure for a couple of hours then i'm going to continue and assemble the engine and put back the bolt and i hope that this will work this is the end of the video uh, i hope you find it useful if you have this issue if this happens to you remember Keep Zen and just continue the art of BMW maintenance. And also uh, subscribe if you find these videos useful.